the feeling when you enter a cooling tower, it's... You're baffled. You're baffled by the, the size and the dimensions of these places. And you have a feeling of a certain otherworldly environment. Reginald, do you get relief from the starkness of these cooling towers, these circular structures? What attracts me in those places is that they ooze out a certain solitude because I'm a graphic designer in, in my daytime job and everything is very stressful and chaotic and I think the world and, and our cities are very chaotic as well. And so these places, they offer me some kind of solitude where I can find peace. And through my imagery, I want to show that solitude to my viewers and give them a chance to catch their breath and rest a bit. When did you get attracted to this idea of photographing cooling towers? The first one I did was in 2009, the one in Charleroi. And that peculiar one really triggered my interest to scout for them and search for them. I used Google Maps to pinpoint all the, the cooling towers by using the, the satellite imagery. Then I would just take my car and drive up to them and find out if they are abandoned or not. And since 2009, I'm doing a lot of cooling towers. I can never get enough. 